treasure can take on many forms. It can be large or small. It can be ancient or brand new. It could be money, art, jewelry, or simply a precious item that was considered lost years ago and then turns up in the last place you'd ever expect to find it. We all enjoy a good luck story of incredible treasure being found, and we've gathered plenty of them together for you in this video. Beer cans and bottles don't seem like the most valuable items in the world when you're drinking them, but they might be priceless to collectors many years in the future. There's a family in Kansas City, USA, who knows all about that. The Mulder family was having renovation work carried out at their home when they discovered one of the columns that supported their front porch was hollow and full of whiskey bottles and beer cans from the 1940s. They were all in immaculate condition, and in the collection are some rare gems that are expected to fetch thousands of dollars on the collector's market. The house was built during the 1920s, so the drinking vessels weren't installed as a practical joke during its initial construction. The molders have no idea who might have put them there, when, or why. As a guess, though, the existence of a small opening at the top of the column suggests that a previous occupant may have been using it to hide the evidence of their drinking habit. This next story isn't just one tale of good luck, but two. A young couple called Chris Lightfoot and Mandy Flack, both in their mid-twenties, bought a mind trap board game from a thrift store to play while Mr. Lightfoot's parents were visiting. When they opened it up, they were stunned to discover a collection of six diamond rings inside the box, including a wedding ring and an engagement ring. They took their surprising find to an expert who gave the rings a combined value of $18,000. Their story made the internet, and that's when widow Orlanda Drebbit saw pictures of them. She immediately recognized them as her own wedding and engagement rings, with the other four rings being gifts from her deceased husband. Thankfully, the young couple hadn't sold the rings before Orlanda got in touch, and they decided the right thing to do was to return their surprise jewelry find back to its original owner. As Orlanda said, the rings can't bring her husband back but they do give her back some precious memories, as well as some valuable heirlooms. Nobody seems to know how a 5th century gold treasure came to be hiding beneath the leaves of a forest in the northwest of Poland, but Zrigors, the man who found it while out on a winter's walk, couldn't be more delighted about his discovery. The ornate golden clasp would have been a highly prized piece of jewelry 1500 years ago, but what's really amazing about it is that it's still in such excellent condition despite having appeared to spend so many years lost in such an exposed environment. Zregor's shocking discovery led to an archaeology scramble in the area, which turned up three more silver clasps, but nothing as valuable as the prized artifact that he'd found by chance. The Museum of Kojalin has since taken ownership of the clasp, which they feel may have once belonged to the leader of a barbarian tribe. They're going to examine it carefully, but will eventually put it on public display. The Plangenstock treasure is a collection of diamonds so enormous that you could easily believe they're a movie prop. But they're not. They're very much real, and their discovery is the result of years of work by crystal hunter Paul von Cannell. He'd first found fluorite crystals on the Plangenstock mountain in Switzerland in 1994, and his gut told him they were an indicator of something much more significant below the surface. It wasn't until September 2005, 11 years later, that he finally found what he was looking for. A cavity he drilled into the rock opened up to reveal two tons of perfectly clear Karngorn crystals split into 45 large formations. It was the single largest discovery of crystals in the Swiss Alps for over 400 years. The National History Museum of Bern acquired the collection in 2011 and has made the diamonds a prominent display feature, but nobody knows how much they paid Paul to part with his discovery. Based on the size of the diamonds, it must have been millions of dollars. 
it isn't exactly surprising for a diamond mine to find diamonds. That's the whole reason they exist. It is, however, surprising when one of them turns up the second biggest diamond ever found in human history, which is what happened in Botswana in April 2019. The Canadian company Lucara Diamond Corporation confirmed the finding of a 1,758 carat diamond, which weighs in at over 350 grams and is larger than a tennis ball. If they sell it as one complete piece instead of cutting it up, it's expected to fetch a price of more than $70 million. The company has been trialing brand new technology at the Botswana site, which appears to be paying dividends for them. The previous holder of the title second largest diamond in the world also came from the same site back in 2015 and was sold for just under $60 million. Only the legendary Kulinin diamond is larger, which is a 3,106 carat stone found in South Africa back in 1905 and currently belongs to the British crown. The smallest and most innocuous items can sometimes turn out to be incredibly valuable. Take this chess piece, for example. It was bought from an antique dealer for five pounds in Scotland in 1964. Because it was an ornate piece, it was kept within the same family that originally bought it for more than 50 years, passed down from generation to generation. It was only in June of 2019 that one of the younger members of the family took it to be valued out of curiosity and discovered it was worth more than one million pounds. The eight inch tall ivory carving is actually a long lost Lewis Chessman piece and has been considered missing for nearly two centuries. The Lewis Chessman hoard was discovered on the Isle of Lewis in 1831 and dates back to the 12th century. There were 93 pieces in the collection, which represents an early version of the game we know as chess today. Five pieces were missing from the collection when it was discovered, and this warden piece belonging to the Scottish family is one of them. Nobody has any idea how it became separated from the original collection and ended up being sold in a shop over 100 years later. A Welsh woman with poor eyesight was about to throw out a priceless gold Art Deco handbag last year, but was saved from making the expensive mistake by her optician who'd come to help her sort through her unwanted trash before she got rid of it. Linda Pritchard says that the handbag was once the property of her sister, who was gifted it by an elderly gentleman she used to care for in her capacity as a nurse. As it turns out, the elderly gentleman's wife was Dora Jones, a well-known socialite of the 1920s who enjoyed traveling on cruise ships and mixing with rich and famous people. Not only was the bag a valuable item, but it also contained dozens of rare photos taken during her voyages, which included time spent on famous luxury yachts like the RMS Elizabeth. The designer bag was made by Emmanuel Joseph and is still in good condition after spending the past 90 years stored in a safe place. The bag and the photos together went on to make $5,000 when they were sold at auction. If you, your parents, or your grandparents have any old-looking religious paintings hanging around in the house, double-check them just to make absolutely sure they're not missing masterpieces from centuries ago. A young man in France did exactly that in October this year and found out that the yellowing artwork that was hanging above the hot plate in his grandmother's kitchen in Compagne, France, was actually a 13th century pre-Renaissance work of art by Florentine master Kimabu. The senior citizen liked the small 10 inch by 8 inch painting because she thought it was a Greek religious picture. But it was actually the long lost portrait known as Christ Mocked, which Kimabu completed in 1280. Including this rediscovered painting, there are only 11 surviving examples of his art known to exist in the world. Although it was coated in dust and a little worn by its exposure to heat, the gold background and the traces of the original frame quickly confirmed the authenticity of the work. The family were quick to cash in on their unexpected windfall and sold it for $28.6 million. Sometimes you have to search high and low to find treasure. 
Other times, it literally falls out of the sky and lands at your feet. All you have to do is dodge the falling rock and lava to pick them up. When the Hawaiian volcano Kilauea erupted in 2018, ash and rock weren't the only things it spewed out onto Hawaii's big island. It also started raining gems. Thousands of pea-sized minerals, known as olivine, were blasted into the air when Kilauea blew its top, landing in the form of lumps known as peridot. It's thought the crystals were formed when magma from the volcano was fired into the air by the explosion, where the magnesium icon silicates in the lava reacted with other elements to create the olivine. Sadly, nobody on the island got rich on the back of this discovery. When there are gemstones literally everywhere you look, nobody needs to go out and buy them. Many countries all over the world, including the United Kingdom and the United States of America, have a television show called The Antiques Roadshow. The idea of the show is that members of the public turn up with potentially valuable items they have at home, and antique experts value them and try to buy them if they're worth anything. Usually those items are worth a few hundred dollars. The item that James Keener from Houston, Texas took to the show was not one of those usual items. What he thought was an ugly old sculpture turned out to be the work of the internationally famous French sculptor and artist Auguste Rodin. James had inherited the piece from his great aunt and didn't even like it, but his opinion quickly changed when he was told it could be worth up to half a million dollars. The piece was made by Rodin in the year 1900 and was called Eternal Spring. For James, it turned out to be a source of near eternal wealth when he sold the bronze statue to a French museum. Even people who don't know much about art or antiques have a vague idea what a Ming vase looks like. So here's an idea. If you own something that looks like a Ming vase, don't use it as an umbrella stand. The owner of the vase bought it under the impression it was an 18th century piece, and therefore wasn't worth much more than the $150 they paid for it. And over time, for reasons best known to themselves, they started leaving their umbrellas on it. Only when a friend suggested they might want to let an expert take a closer look at it was the true origin of the vase revealed. It was an exceptionally rare example of valuable Chinese porcelain dating back to the earliest day of the Ming Dynasty in the 14th century, and it was worth $20 million. It could have been broken or damaged by a badly placed umbrella at any time, but fortunately, it was rescued before that happened. We can be sure it isn't being used for such an unsuitable purpose now. If you are living in an old home, but you've never renovated it since you moved in, you might want to think about doing so. Not only will you have a nicer looking house, but you might also find some secret treasure hiding in a secret location, like under the floor or in the roof. A couple doing some home improvements in Cleveland, Ohio, recently found a green suitcase waiting for them when they ripped open a false ceiling in their basement. And in the suitcase was $23,000 in old banknotes, carefully wrapped in wax paper. Helpfully, there was also an old newspaper in the suitcase with the money, dated March 25th, 1951. All of the notes were dated between 1928 and 1934, which suggests that they'd been hoarded for some time before they were put in the suitcase with the paper and interred into the ceiling. They've had to report the find to the police and have also consulted a lawyer to help them work out whether they'll be allowed to keep the old cash. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.